to another video. I'm just getting ready and this Lux Unfiltered Illuminating Beauty Balm makes me look so sun-kissed and glowy. It's like my favorite bronzer in the summer because it does have a little bit of a shimmer, which I kind of only really want to gravitate towards during the summer, but it just gives such a pretty glow. I also have the blush, but this is what the color looks like. It's in the color Tropics, and then I have the blush which is in the color sunset it's like a pretty pink and i got these last summer and i love them and i also use the Lux unfiltered brush that you can buy with them there's a highlighter one that you can also buy but i don't really wear a lot of highlighter um and i love the merit beauty highlighter so i felt like i didn't really need one but especially the bronzer for summertime and my hair, I have like no desire to style it at all. I wore it natural all last weekend. It was the best thing ever. And I usually wear it natural during the week, so it's nice. And then I give my hair like a nice little break, but I got some road blushes. I kind of wanted to dabble in them and test them out. I love the road glazing milk. They're totally different. This is skincare and this is makeup but I love this stuff and I've loved the skincare products. So I wanted to try out the blushes and I've seen them on TikTok. I'm gonna try them out today. I did get two colors. I got the pocket blush. Okay, so they're called the pocket blushes. They're really small. I thought they were bigger than what they are. I don't know if it was an illusion, but the videos that I saw of them made them look bigger. I thought they'd be probably around this size they're really tiny and the two colors that I got I got spicy mark and juice box I don't have a color this pink so I loved that color and I love these coral colors or like reds especially in the summertime it's almost kind of like it gives you that sun-kissed look like you've been out in the sun all day without having to be out in the sun all day I don't like getting sun on my face I think I'm gonna do this one. I actually think it might be fun to do the sunset blush. So maybe we'll do both of them. I think the trend is you just basically mix like a reddish orange and then a pink. I don't wanna do too much, I get a little scared. I always just bring it into my, I love having blush on my eyelids. I used to not like that look. And then it's just so easy. So I put like my bronzer or contour there and then I put my blush over it and it just like ties together the whole face. Blends really nice. It's really pigmented though. So I feel like you have to be careful. I love it, especially paired together. Love them. I can link the colors that I got down below. If you're interested, there's I think five or six different colors and these just were calling my name. Um, I love, like I said, the reds and the oranges and tones like that. They're like my favorite types of blush. So I feel like Spicy Mark is going to be my top favorite. I love the juice box color. It's a little bit different. I don't have any blushes that are really that pink. So it's super fun for summer. And then I obviously love how they look layered together. So I'll link them. Just wanted to share unrelated to makeup or getting ready i wanted to share this product really quickly that i've been recently testing out i got it sent to me from the brand you like since it's summer i'm kind of very interested in this device it's a at home ipl hair removal device so it's kind of like an at home laser hair removal it is completely painless like I said, it's by the brand you like. I can link it down below. I've been testing it out. So I've used it five times. I've crossed off on this little calendar that they provide you. You're supposed to use it for the first one to four weeks every two days. So I got it last Friday. I've been doing it every other day since then. So five times and you go over the areas three times. So for the first four weeks, it should work using it every other day. And then from week five and on, you can adjust the treatment schedule to once every two weeks or once a month, depending on your hair growth. And they say consistency is key. It has just a whole guide to using the device at home. I don't have any problems with like razor burn or shaving. Like it's never been an issue for me. I have very thin hair throughout my body and it's pretty blonde in most parts. Has really good reviews online. 
So I'm really interested, but I think I believe you can get it on Amazon. Just looks like this, and the light comes out through here. Really easy to use. Like I said, it's super painless. Not, it doesn't hurt at all. So I've been really liking it. I was kind of scared, hoping that it wasn't painful because I've never gotten any sort of laser hair removal done before, but it's completely painless. So if you're interested in laser hair removal without having to go to a salon to get it done and how pricey it can be to get it done in a salon, maybe look into this product for at home laser hair removal. Just wanted to share. I'll keep you posted on the progress after the four weeks or maybe five weeks depending on if it gets interrupted for my vacation. But I'll keep you posted on my results if I like it, but I will link it down below just in case you want to do your own research and maybe pick it up and do it with me. So just want to share. I'm going to finish getting ready. I think we're going to go to Dutch Bros to get like an afternoon treat. Yesterday was Christian's birthday. He turned 31. So we're kind of like celebrating all weekend long, but I'm still debating on if I'm going to even style my hair. I ended up just blow drying my hair and not styling it after that. Maybe I'll flat iron it when we get back or curl it. I'm just leaving it. We're going to Dutch Bros to get some fun afternoon treats. And I can't tell if this outfit is just too much, but I'm wearing this yellow tee from Free People. I got it back in May, so I don't know if this color is still available, but I sized up a couple sizes just so it fits a little bit off the shoulder and a little bit longer. And then these shorts are from Daily Drills. They have a linen pair on their site right now and it's still in stock. This is the poplin material. And I rolled it at the waistline or else they'd be pretty long. So this is the fit. And then shoes are Zara, knockoff Birkenstocks. And then this necklace is from an Etsy shop called Jordan Sky. And this is the comfy fit. We just got home from the grocery store a little bit ago. We put the groceries away. I cleaned out the fridge, prepped some cherries for the week, and now I'm about to prep this old viral TikTok recipe. I've never tried it actually, but it's just cucumber, these sweet peppers, chili onion crunch. I just had the one from Publix. I don't have the one from Trader Joe's, but I know that's the most popular one probably. And then this ginger dressing, and I think sesame seeds and some other spices. I'm gonna check the recipe really quick, but I wanted to make this as like a pre-dinner snack. I'm a little bit hungry, but it's a little early to go eat dinner. So I'm gonna try this out and see how it is. I'm kind of excited. Cucumbers were on sale, so we had a lot of cucumbers. So I thought maybe today would be the perfect opportunity to make this recipe. It's so good. Mm. You like it? I love it. It's this ginger dressing. Yeah. Everything. 
just got home from picking up dinner. We got just salad for dinner. And during the summer, they released this. It's a salad, but we get it in a wrap called the Backyard Barbecue. And we add pumpkin seeds and I added spinach to it. And it is so good if you have a just salad near you. This is something that I was craving. I just wanted like a nice yummy wrap. Okay, just finished eating dinner. And I'm about to fill these ice containers that I got from Target. They were like $3. And I was roaming Target the other day before work. I went in early because I went to go get some stuff for Christian's birthday because his birthday was yesterday. So I went in early before work on Thursday and was quickly like roaming through the aisles. And I saw these and they're three dollars each so i'm gonna use them for my morning coffee tomorrow i wish i had a pellet ice maker but i can't justify the price so we'll see if this gives the same feel or if it just gives crushed ice vibes it's a little challenging like how do you even fill this up should i fill it up over the sink okay fill it up over the sink please pardon my stupidity <laughs> i can't wait to take off my makeup and get in the shower I'm about to cut up some pineapple and mango for the week so I don't have to do it tomorrow and then get in the shower but I'm gonna put in a whitening strip too to kind of kill two birds with one stone. I don't even know how to, I got them off of Amazon. They're the Guru, they look like this. I don't love these but I'm using them anyway. I got them for like $10 off Amazon. I think it came with like nine strips. I don't love them. I don't really recommend. They might work for you better than me, but I just didn't really see a difference. And maybe I'm just like picky and I really like the unnatural versions. I do have these Lumino ones that I haven't used in a long time. I've had these for like a little bit and they're just like the last few that I have. I ordered a whitening kit off of Amazon to see if I like it. it should come next week, so I'll share that. I mean, or I'll just go back to the tried and true pressed white strips. They just really make my teeth sensitive. So I'm trying to explore other options and I tried to go with these and they just don't work as much as I want them to, but I'm still using them all. That's my last one. So I went through the whole pack of them. I just don't love them. So I'm putting in white strips, cutting up some fruit, and then getting in the shower and going to bed. You're supposed to keep these in for like 45 minutes. And I always, I have a fake tooth down here, so I always shift it like a little bit more towards this side because this tooth doesn't whiten because it's fake. Okay, I'm gonna talk with a list for a second. I think I've explained this story before, but I wanna explain it again. I'm gonna like try and cover my mouth. Basically, when I was young, I had these two teeth on either side of my mouth. And when I had braces, they removed it on this side, but it was like categorized as a dwarf tooth. So it never fully grew up to come in line with all of my teeth. And when I had braces, they removed it on this side. And I had braces in like, I run like in the end of sixth grade. And then I got them off at like the beginning of sophomore year of high school. So almost four years, they removed the tooth on this side and closed the gap. So I had like a rubber band that like closed the entire gap and shifted this forward. This side, they left it and it never fully came up. So when I got my wisdom teeth taken out, so they removed my three wisdom teeth and then they removed this tooth as well. And then did an implant. So they drilled a screw into my jaw. Um, but when they removed this tooth, they hit a nerve and they, I lost feeling all throughout here and I still can't feel this part of my face and I never probably will be able to feel there. And it's so weird and I can't feel there. It's just, it's strange. Like if I'm brushing my teeth and like toothpaste is like, I can't feel it right here. It's just weird. But they put an implant in and then they put like a fake cap and then I got fitted for a regular tooth and then I have a tooth there now, so. That's the story, but that's why I shift my whitening strip over. Unique information about me, I guess. Um, I shift my whitening strip over to this side more because this tooth doesn't whiten anywhere. Anyways, I'm gonna cut up some fruit, get in the shower, and head to bed. I'm about to make my morning coffee and use the ice that I made yesterday. I switched to these beans from Loch Lom, which is like a favorite of mine. I have like two really good solid favorites there. This is one of them. I just didn't love the flavoring of the last roast that I got, so switched 
to this one. We're gonna see how these come out. It's good. It's better than crushed ice. Just got dressed. My dishwasher is beeping at me because I had to stop it because it was <laughs> making a lot of noise. But I went to go pull out meat for meal prep today and I realized that we don't have enough ground beef. So we're going to Costco. Gonna just pick up a couple of things. I am not doing a full restock, but we're going to get some like ground beef, some more sausage for sheet pan meals and paper towels and like dishwasher pods, maybe a couple other things. But this is what I'm wearing. Um, my tank top is from Brandy Melville. My button up is from Park. It's from last fall, so I don't think they have it anymore. My linen shorts are from Park 2. These are last year's version. Um, I think I got them in July. And they have a new version out, and it's in stock as of today, so I'll link them. And shoes are Boston suede Birkenstocks. And then my hoops are the perfect hoop. And then I have a navy blue MEJ clip in. And this is the fit. We're gonna head to Costco, and then I wanna go on a walk, I think, when we get back. Um, I don't know, depending on weather. But this is the fit for Costco. Quick Costco haul, we got a lot more stuff than I originally planned, but let's quickly run through things. This was not planned. I originally went looking for toothbrush heads. We use the Oral-B electric toothbrushes and I was looking for those and I saw this and I needed more cleansing oil. So I wanted to give this a try. It says that it's like the number one, what did it say? Yeah, Korea's number one cleanser. And I love using cleansing oils, so I wanted to give this a try. And it came with a travel one, which is nice because I'm traveling at the end of this month. And this will be nice to take with me because I'm only taking a carry-on. And then two 6.7 fluid ounces. So that's pretty good. And I needed more. So I picked this up. Some rice cauliflower. Our favorite cauliflower crust pizza. This is so good. They didn't have the organic ground beef that we usually buy, but they had this. So we got a three pack. These looked pretty good. The Baja Chipotle. Love this chip brand. I got these to try for breakfast. I thought it'd be good for throughout the week maybe with some hard boiled eggs and maybe some toast and avocado. Just to switch it up, they have great ingredients. Thought these would be nice to have or just to have in the, the freezer. Pot roast, this is our favorite. I got some apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna start adding this to my morning lemon water again. This is a really good deal and I didn't think that they had apple cider vinegar with the mother in it and that's the trick to buying apple cider vinegar and I usually like the Bragg's brand but I saw this at Costco and it was like $10 for three big ones which was an incredible deal. Usually at Publix it's like one is $10. We got our favorite sausage from Costco. They changed the packaging which I'm kind of bummed about so we're gonna have to vacuum seal this usually comes already vacuum sealed, but I guess they changed it. Got some ground turkey. These are my favorite meatballs. <laughs> they, they're the easiest dinner ever, and I always love having them in the freezer. I know that they're Italian style, and this is kind of weird, but I got this idea from my sister, and I've been doing this for like a year now, and she told me to put the Japanese barbecue sauce over top of these, and I have never looked back. It is so good. So I do like an Asian style dinner really easy with this cauliflower rice, like a vegetable medley, broccoli, edamame, whatever you have. So good, I know it sounds weird, but it's really good. And it's just something great to have on hand. Got some eggs, we got some dishwasher pods, and a big thing of paper towels. And that's the haul. Not as big as usual, which wasn't the plan anyway, but still got a lot more stuff than we were going for. I was gonna take a walk outside, but it's pouring. And it's thunder and lightning so bad. So I'm just gonna walk on the treadmill. I'm gonna make a water first. I'm gonna add some Celtic salt to it just for my electrolytes. I think I'm gonna do 12, 3, 30. And whenever I do 12, 3, 30 and I don't add some type of like electrolyte, I get really bad dehydration headaches behind my eye. I was just walking out the door to head to the gym and my 
Amazon package got here of my castor oil. And I mentioned a vlog or two ago, actually it was a couple of vlogs ago, that I wanted to try putting castor oil underneath my eyes. So this is the one that I got. It was like $10 on Amazon. I think people use it for, cause it came with brow and lash tools. Um, but I'll link it. I wanna start putting it underneath my eyes to help with dark circles because I've tried everything, I feel. And nothing's really worked. So we're gonna give this a try and see how it goes because I really don't have anything to lose and it's so inexpensive that it's not costing me a fortune and if it works, I've seen so many success stories but we'll see if it works for me. So I'll link it.